comes. Teenagers on a mission, proudly brought to you by the SAPC Education. Call about SAPC one of for sure. Minage, we see. I'm not in one I'm can't you? We are learning all about Ufutu. The doctor gave us energy. Now, energy it does not die, it simply transfers itself into other things. In those van and movement or a propulsion, it is used in nature to keep Tinabandu as well as Ranyan moving. And the energy generated things like the wind, the sun, and fire, which do use work. Energy corner, Dr. Jay, well, from Tinaga about to food nail one is taller e energy from fueling ourselves with Mugul. I'm a machine wanna get energy from other food sources such as U petrol. Tinaga speck at different things including woods abant to gash gash and machines. See transfer on journey e energy or gany if you into energy. When I just say it means that none of the people I'm standing this karam no one's karam zimba has been wind out. Yeah, I bumb a lap on my bed as far as close no fucking with single clean and charge from natural energy to the energy we use to propel Ama Panoi e motor and the energy we use to make our muscles move. It's all covered on today's show. Go to the and let's get this show on the road. Abashwe. I'm sure we'll be discussing exactly what energy is. Good to for us to live and work every day and how we apply it to different things. So let's watch a SWAT Corps airbase. We'll be going back in time in clockwise. We'll also be taking a closer look at the airplane's propellers. Ever wondered how a plane works? Well, Namtaya Uzotola Gabans. As always, we'll be checking out some cool apps and websites that can make your life way interesting in cyberspace. And our career counselor will give you some tips and great careers that you could think about studying for. Let's get this party started! So, in energy, Seben Zanjani, since Seben Zanjani is in a mechanism, why are you telling me about the gang? Since I'm not going to have a mic, I'm going to call him. This is what you guys had to say. Welcome to TOMZ. So I want to know from you, where do you think that we get energy to power our bodies? Well, it's important that our diet contains um, food that are rich in nutrients that can supply our body cells with the, in, um, the needed energy. Where do you think our body gets the energy to power itself up? I think it is from the food that we eat. Basically, your diet is very important and the sun, of course. Uh, we get energy from the sun and from the food that we eat every day. From every day, from vitamin D, so more How have you harnessed different types of energy? Uh, okay, I mean, energy. We use energy for like electricity purposes, like and you see, we we do many things from uh, electricity. Uh, electricity from coal. because light and light. So, So, energy energy from the sun. I mean, and then. The sun will then power up again. Ah, can I not get like grab from the check it is long flow in the morning and then yeah, look from the chat it up from glucose even one in my body. Uh, it have to be from my breakfast and the sun. Well, my energy I build up from my diet that I have and from the cells and my cells that provide the energy for me. Without energy, it would not exist. We use the energy to ukusebenza, ukuhamba, ukuphefumla, ukuthetha, and anything that you can think of when you comes from converting energy into action. Energy lights our cities. Yenzi moto zetu all only we ingolo moya and rockets move. If we demand that it's into zetu, why it cooks our food, plays our music, and gives us pictures on TV. Now, energy from Milanga gives us light during the day, dries our clothes when they're on the line, and helps plants grow. Energy stored in plants is eaten by animals, giving them energy, and predator animals eat their other animals, which gives them energy. Energy is a cycle that never ends. It just changes into something else. Yonge Indosienza is connected to energy. Energy is the ability to do work. As a city game is to transform the energy stored in food into energy to do work. When we run or walk, we burn that energy in our bodies. When we think or see funda or see bala, we are also doing work. Now, Imoto, Imwalomoya light bulbs, bulbs, and machinery also transform energy into work. There are many sources of energy, like electricity, biomass energy, which is energy from the plants, fossil fuels, which is coal, oil, and natural gas, nuclear energy, as well as solar energy, and many more. So, I said, energy connects anything. Going in on one side and coming out as action. Oh, wow. And guys, over the years, we have found some amazing technologically advanced ways of making energy to be able to use energy to be able to to make energy to be able to use 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 energy 
Milano. So we went to Swatkov's air base to get inside the engine of an aeroplane and to investigate how kinetic energy makes a plane fly. My name is Gilles Enslin. I am an instructor at ITC and I've been in the aviation industry since then. ITC Intellectual Training College. That's an academy that is operating from the Rand Airport. We are actually training apprentices to become aircraft engineers. This engine is an R2000 engine. It's a piston. It's a 14-cylinder rotary piston. As you can see, it's not like a car's engine where the piston is in line or sideways. It is rotary. As it is rotary, you will see that we'll have to have a rotary crankshaft. Normally, the standard procedure will be the accessory gearbox will be sit at the, sitting at the back, driving from your drive shaft, your crankshaft will drive your accessory gearbox. On your accessory gearbox, you'll have all your accessories that are available. Then we use the starter motor and we turn the same as we turn a car. We turn the engine. As we turn it, we get to the fuel system. The fuel system will be a fuel control unit, as we call it, and an intake. The intake will, through a butterfly valve, create airflow inside my intake of my supercharger. The supercharger is there to compensate for altitudes. As we go higher up, the density decreases and the power will go down. In other words, the supercharger will compensate for altitude. Then we will have the intake into the piston. When this con rod pushes the crankshaft turns and push the con rod up, we will have a compression stroke that will inside here will decrease that area to a small area this size. Now we've got a high compression. So to get a power stroke, we ignite fuel that was taken by the fuel control unit and air that was compressed through the uh, uh, crankshaft movement. And we've got, it, it'll burn. As it burns, it expands. When it expands, that will be the power stroke. And the position of the pistons will follow the power on the power on the power, which will give us a full rotation, which will turn the propeller that is fitted on the front. The fuel used will be a much higher octane fuel than on a car. Octane is the unit that the speed of the burning time of the fuel is measured in. So the higher the octane, the faster the burning will take place. The lower the octane, the slower rate the burning will take place. If you use this on your car, you will burn your valves because it burns faster. Fuel has got an unit that is called BTUs, British Thermal Units. The amount of British Thermal Units that we've got will give us the amount of kinetic energy that we've got. In other words, heat energy turned into power energy. If we put a thousand BTUs of fuel inside there, we will extract a thousand BTUs of kinetic energy out of it. So the relation between fuel in, power out is measured in BTUs 
and energy out, shaft horse power. I'm an engine one plane get one are built very differently to car engines. Go banje, you can't just pull over to the side of the sky if you break down. Sure, wow, see, hey. And get the designs and energy management systems have been developed and perfected over many decades. And yeah, most planes are also designed to give a maximum energy for as much as 2,000 hours without failing. Because there are no tow trucks to rescue you in the air. Yeah, dude. And again, I'm looking forward to them transferring the technology to cars. I mean, I'm sure that in the future, I'm going to talk about it. I'm to be bright. That's something to look forward to. But there's also more to look forward to right here on the show after the break. We'll be looking at amazing energy and looking at how it transfers to make things move, fly, and work for us. Don't go anywhere. Tums. Tums. With one of the most energetic episodes ever, up at Tom's. Now, I'm trying to get to what the energy does for dinner all day, every day. Why are you yonking down? Yeah, boy, yes, Buffy. Now, one of the most complicated and efficient ways, right? We have harnessed the energy is in using our flying machines and pumpy leg. Skills are cool, man. Guti, kashle kashle, mungu na wipa no isa auto laga bandu. Guti, kashle kashle, engine ya kona isa benza ganja. Ija lo ganja kesi ya kwa asmanga abo. Kimo lo moya is they are made up of hundreds of important components that allow them to take us to the air and carry us all over the world without even touching the ground. That's not what she gets cut. I guess born with cut the cut the local. Who said when's a danger? So when you in our last segment, about what makes an aeroplane's engine tick? And now we're going to take a closer look at what makes them move, Emoyen. Yeah, well, yes, my feet now. As well, I'm going to tell you about what makes them move, Where the propellers fit in making sure that planes use energy effectively. Up, up, and away. Good afternoon. I am Martinez Potgitter. I'm the owner of Intellect Training Consultation. We use, we take grade 12 students and we train them to become aircraft mechanics. This is a pulled a PT6 engine. We use the airflow to turn the, 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 the propeller, to turn this whole propeller. So what does the pr propeller do? It gives us that mechanical energy to move the airplane forward. So we change the airflow into mechanical or kinetic energy to move it forward. So the propeller part starts here. We have a free turbine. The free turbine is turned by the engine. This engine is called a reverse flow of the engine. So the air flows forward. The air comes through this turbine. And as the air turns the turbine, it actually turns your propeller. Okay, it's got a, a separate unit, gearbox unit here, and it turns the propeller. If you have a look at the propeller, you can see we can change the pitch of the propeller. From this is coarse pitch, and we can change it to a finer pitch or fine pitch. Now, when we take off, we need this propeller to be at fine pitch, and when we fly, we go to a coarser pitch to actually give us better fuel consumption. And this propeller actually corkscrews through the air. And that gives us the forward motion of the airplane. And when we want to take off, we want to take all this weight, we need to go to fine pitch and corkscrew quicker through the air so we can move forward. If we look at the pitch of the propeller, when we are at fine pitch, we can go at a higher RPM. RPM is the revolutions per minute. That's the revolutions the engine makes in each minute of turning. So if it runs at 2,800 RPM, that means this propeller runs, turns 2,800 RPM revolutions per minute. When we go coarse pitch, now this pitch normally, this is what we call a feathering pitch. If this engine goes, let's say the engine stopped in the air. If it's like this, what do we have? A lot of wind resistance. So we can take this pitch like that and it will also prevent the engine from turning, less wind resistance, and that's why the airplane can fly with one engine down if it's got two engines. You can get a wide propeller, which will give you much more movement, or a narrower propeller. The design of the length of the propeller is very important because we must keep this, the tip of the propeller below the speed of sound. Because once the propeller tip gets to the speed of sound, it starts to flutter, okay, and it becomes ineffective. And that's why each propeller is designed for the different airplanes. So when they build the airplane, they de decide on the engine, and then they decide on the propeller. That design makes the, so we can optimize the, the propeller to its best. 
The newest propellers are carbon fiber propellers. The weight much less, stronger than aluminium, and it doesn't bend as much as what aluminium does. It lasts longer. So carbon fiber is much stronger, and you save on weight. And the weight, the difference with the weight is, remember, if this is turning at 2,000 revolutions per minute, you can think if this weighs, the propeller weighs two, two kilograms or 20 kilograms, how much force is on that hub to pull it out? So if I make the propeller lighter, the force on the hub will be less. That's why they're going for lighter propellers. The propeller of the airplane is used to push fast-moving air out of the plane, which propels the plane horizontally forward. Now, there's a twisted rubber band empowering the propeller, which stores potential energy. I get it up a blend and twist the potential energy. It is converted into kinetic energy, which is the work being done to turn the propeller as the band and twists. The plane is pushed forward by the thrust provided by the propeller. Younger girl and doing are how the plane moves forward, but not how the plane flies upward. So as the plane is thrust forward, the shape of the plane wings generates lift. Oh wow! Like there's so much that goes into shaping your energy. Into this girl, the men's latina. Minaga, I would have never thought that something that looks as simple as a propeller has so much technology that goes into it. Dude, right? But gay humans are the only creatures that have created artificial flight on the planet. So get over Minaga. It has really developed and it. Technology is advancing in the Yeah, but well, yes, my friends, so you'd better keep those energy levels up. We have the most amazing stuff coming right after the break. So when I lay up, if you will, we'll see you after this. When we go back in the clock house and find out about the history of how we have harnessed energy, then we check out some of the amazing energy saving apps on cyberspace. Tums. Tums. TOMZ, the only place to be for all the science and tech info that you need. And it's brought to you by the also amazing SABC Education app, SABC One. Zanzi, the show. Yeah, well, yes, my friends. Now, we're going to learn about Kulomanga Energy, something that we cannot do anything without. To Boazigo and Alapeka, which only 10% of the energy in a light bulb is only used to create light, and 90% of a light bulb's energy creates heat. Oh, wow. And again, we eat compact fluorescent light bulbs, known as the CFLs on the other hand, use about 80% less electricity and last up to 12 times as long. So if you want to cut down on your energy use, look at the energy saving light bulbs. There are two basic groups of energy, renewable energy being biomass, geothermal, solar, water, and wind power, as well as non-renewable being fossil fuels called oil, natural gas, and nuclear. Now, three quarters of the world's energy is generated by burning fuels, which are not renewable. So once the fuel is burnt, we need to put in more. Yeah, well, yes, my friends, so now, Saturn, New Hamburg, we're back to how exactly we've harnessed different types of energy throughout the ages. The very first energy source was Ilanga, providing Umbushushu as well as Ukanya during the day. Later, we harnessed fire, which was another source of umushushu as well as wukani. In Minyagami Nins Gerule, we discovered that the wind could also be used as an energy source too, and we used it to move sails on our boats for transportation and to use windmills to turn water wheels for grinding grain. Earlier in the 1800s, we manufactured natural gas using coal. Now, Gemigo Kala used for street lights in Baltimore, Maryland, and later in major cities like London. For most of the 1900s, oil and natural gas were our main energy sources. Umba Nege was used more in the late 1900s, from about 1945 to now. Recently, nuclear and solar energy, along with Amanzi and wind, have played a large role in the production of energy. Also, 2008 to 2030, world energy consumption is expected to increase more than 55%, which is why gay alternative energy sources like solar power are being seriously investigated. Imagine being caught in the world's biggest blackout. I mean, local gay winds go August 14, 2004, when a massive power outage occurred across the North US and throughout Ontario. Ontario, Canada, affecting about 50 million. Abang. Yo, wow. And according to Google, get the energy it takes to do 100 searches on a site is equivalent to a 60 watt light bulb burning for 28 minutes. So the next time you're online, what do you think? Sakul Bang over online. Now, team, let's head into the magical world of cyberspace for some amazing energy related apps. So, as you say, energy every day, we like to light to it to cell phones, fridges, or just about anything. The Home Energy app keeps track of all the energy as you said in society and can help you cut down on your home energy use and costs. How about that? If you want to keep track on the bigger picture, Konala M. Zanti, go into Load Shedding app, loadshedding.co.za, an app that will send you notifications every time there is load shedding schedule 
for your area. How about that? And if you want to keep track on your personal energy usage, you can look at my Earth app. That plan to monitor your everyday energy use and reduces your carbon footprint so you can contribute to more energy and sufficient society by tracking your carbon savings. Now there's a whole world of energy out there and we need the energy to Sebenza. Now choosing the right career might take a bit of energy, but we don't overdo it. So now we've got to make the right decision. Check this out. There's a great demand for our solar technicians who understand how to harness and store the power of the sun for us to use in our everyday lives. There are many training courses all over the country. Just Google it. They range from a few weeks to a few months long and a basic understanding of electricity, problem solving techniques, and an ability to work a basic handheld calculator is enough to start learning more about this field. Our solar technicians are high in demand and if energy is your passion, then it is definitely a career worth exploring. What is it like doing the job every day? So again, got local from the guest on today's show. Check it out. If you want to follow a career in aviation, the right place to start will be ITC. That is where we can take you from the school, straight out of school, no experience is needed, nothing. The only thing you need is a grade 12 plus metric, ach plus maths and science. After 30 months, you will receive a technician certificate with a red seal on it, stamp. After two years experience in aviation, we will for free offer you human factors course, cats and cars course, uh, basic uh, gas turbine and basic airframe. That is what you require to be a fully licensed maintenance aeronautical engineer. If you are earning enough money to pay tax and do not pay tax and the size becomes a way of the case, you will have to pay your own yellow tax that you are owing as well as the fine for paying it late. Now, if you do not pay this or make arrangements to pay it, then you will end up selling according to the Yo, So it's always best to stay on top of your taxes when a job. If you go to the SARS website, you will be able to find out all about tax and how it applies to you. Jengo Chabuke was Fumana on Facebook at TOMZ as well as the Twitter at TOMZ underscore SABC underscore what. Now that's it for today's show. Go to our own cutters and go back to Nasa Gumuya. We are here every Monday and Tuesday at 4 p.m. to amaze you with science and technology and all the crazy things that are happening in the natural and techno world. Inshallah, until next time, guys, keep exploring. Goodbye. Coming up next on Tom. We learn all about how electrical impulses and music been here to the tonight is yours to the meta me plan is all we get to the bottom of the study of human anatomy we learn all about how in your transplant works and we go back in time to find out about one of the pioneers in the study of the human body leonardo da vinci teenagers on a mission program if you learn a lesson can see me a senior only here on sabc one zanzi for sure